Hello, this is Pat Obi at Purdue University Northwest, and this presentation shows the lag selection process on eViews. And as I note here, before performing uh, co-integration tests and vector error correction, uh, we need to first determine the optimal number of lags to use uh, in the system equation. So I've kind of summarized it for you right here, and let's quickly go to eViews right there. And we have our data set here. These are the two variables. So to implement this process, we're going to click on Quick and then click on Estimate VAR. And then we're going to complete the dialog box. Our endogenous variables are going to be FX, which you see here for exchange rates. And the other is oil. All right. And um, so we're going to leave everything else as is here by default and uh, the VAR type right now is unrestricted VAR and we're going to click um, OK. So now from here we can choose the number of lags for the Johansson uh, test of co-integration as well as um, the error correction model. So what we do is to click view. By the way, this is your VAR results as you can see. All right? So we click view and go to lag structure hover your cursor right here and then move it uh, to the right and click on lag length criteria and uh, we may leave it up to the number of lags that the uh, uh, software recommends uh, as a default max right here and we're just gonna click OK in this example it's 8 so we're just gonna click OK and here's our output from where we can select the optimal lag length. Let me expand this a little bit so you see what's going on. Now, so these are various lag selection criteria that you see here, and they're all uh, defined right, right at the bottom. Now, the lag length uh, with the asterisk is the one selected by the respective um, uh, criteria. And um, now note that if we want to choose the lags manually, the smaller the um, criteria, the better the model, noting that negative values are, larger negative values are smaller and smaller, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so anyhow, as you can see here, the um, uh, these first three criteria uh, choose three lags. These last two, uh, which includes the Schwartz information criterion, I, I like it particularly, as well as um, the last one right here, the Hen and Quinn information criterion, choose two. So I'm actually going to choose two, but you can choose three and then see where that takes you, actually. All right, so that's basically how that's done. And then when you do your... Um, uh, Johansson's test of uh, co-integration, uh, you're going to have to use two or three if you like in this case. And this um, is the wrap of it.